Hey, hey boys, Paul here with you today. All right, we got a past due video here. Here we go. What happened to the six, seven power stroke? Well, it's out of the fleet. That's what happened to it. And everybody's like, hooray, it grew up. It grew up, it blew up. Nope, it did not blow up. As a personal note, I'll keep it very simple and very uh, straightforward. Uh, my hot shot operation is uh, it was ran by my brother-in-law. And what I mean by ran, he managed it. Well, he decided to go do his own thing. And yeah, he had two trucks in the fleet. I ain't a Ford guy, but he is. So he brought two of the trucks. One of them was a 6.7 Ford. My uh, OG, as some YouTubers like to call him, my original subscribers, longtime subscribers know that I mentioned in the video that my brother-in-law bought this and we're going to run it and yada yada. So it's probably, well, it probably going to be the last video about that Ford. Uh, wrap it up and let y'all know and keep y'all updated. So that thing was bought brand new. Ran in my company for 200000 200000 or 203 to be particular. It was ran in my company. Ran same maintenance schedules as the Cummins in a lot of cases. In most cases. Besides the engine, I think we did... I roll on, wanted to do a little bit less miles on the engine. I do 15 to 20,000 miles on an oil change. I think he kept it around 15. Anyways, nevertheless. So that's what we did. Ran it, did great. Um, sum it all up for 200,000. Biggest two differences fuel consumption and the brakes wore out nearly twice as fast. That's the biggies. At about 197,000 miles. SMB intake was added. Driver did confirm better gas mileage, but the truck wasn't long enough for me personally to uh, conclude on that because I like to keep a track record and uh, make come up with an average after a month of steady driving. Anyway, so power questionable, mileage according to the driver it was all there. Um, well, actually, no, he said the power was up too. He's like it breathes easier, boosts easier. So that's the the supporting fact. No, SMB didn't pay me anything. Y'all gotta realize this channel is completely on experience and uh, sharing. So, if you can gain from it, great. If you can't, just move on. Um, so, 197. At 200 and some change, the rear diff went out. The rear axle, keep it simple. Had the same schedule as my Cummins, as my Ram. You know, guys, it's it's not clear as daylight on this one um there's always a bad apple in the batch so i can't differentiate it from that to uh all you ford boys your rear ends are gonna go out at about two hundred thousand. you know um had an oil change every 50 was definitely treated gentle that truck was not abused um but two hundred thousand, the rear end went out that's the biggest news biggest difference for those guys that haven't followed up to this point you know truck never let the truck ne never let us down never gave us issues didn't grenade um simple as that you know i wish i could tell you some crazy stories but i really can't I hung in there it was, it's a softer ride than the power uh excuse me the power stroke or the ford i guess the next case is a softer ride than the ram um power stroke has more power up top versus the ram more power low end when they're tuned right shoot i'm going through something with this pilot joy right now um doesn't have the low end that it's supposed to at least it did when it's stock so anyways that's that boys uh my final video on that six seven with two hundred and three thousand miles for your boys concerned uh how does it stack up to a cummins you know it's, it's a quicker truck around town so as soon as you off hook a or unhook a a trailer it's, it's easier to drive around town because it's quicker it takes off easier and I'm talking about speed drag racing kind of thing. I'm not simply implying that you're going to be drag racing. You're going to win the races, you know, stock to stock. But it's easier to get it up to speed than the Cummins. The Cummins is more of a slow and steady kind of tractor feel. Um, so that's it. Not calling the Cummins slow or not calling the, the Ford a drag strip king or anything like that. I'm just saying that on a, on a stock setup, the Ford's quicker. That's it. Um, y'all gonna say, oh, you can modify this, you modify that. No, guys, keep it simple. Just on the stock platform, that's all. Uh, the power stroke is the fastest. Their max is second, and then the Cummins is the slowest out of all three. So, from a guy that owns 
actually quite a few of these Cummins pickups um, comparing it to a Ford I mean my biggest concern main business mine is the fuel mileage you know if, if we're 30 35 percent short that's quite a bit of percentage you only got to stack three vehicles till you get your fourth one for free running for free you know what I mean and I'm way past that I think we're at 15 units right now so that's quite a bit times three you know that's five five times so out of those five times what I would have four vehicles running for free it just, it just doesn't add up fuel mileage wise so that's why I stick to Cummins I love the engine my biggest thing is not Ram not Ford not GM product solely the engine and the the truck itself secondary you know the these things are you can't come like to me this is preference this is a matter of opinion you know the the interior fin finish this gm is a freaking joke leave gm out of this um ford you know it's designed a little too boxy a little too rusty it's not rusty what am i talking about too choppy sorry guys I'm way off subject here just the the design you know as a matter of opinion but the fit and finish is just not there in the ford like it is in the ram i'm not saying this is a lexus but it's a lot better anyone that had both vehicles let's say you'll you have a platinum ford and a limited ram you, you boys know you know best anyways guys a little bits of pieces of comparison throw in the comment section what you really wanted to compare the ford versus the ram and i'll shoot um a little spoiler i mean i I know you guys are gonna hate me for this should i the question of the day should i buy a 2020 six seven power stroke just for you guys just so i could stack them up together and be like yo this is what's going on this is what's really going on because that 1600 maximum torque on paper really got my attention as much as i feel like you can't outperform a perform an inline six well the power stroke's about to prove me wrong and no better way than owning one myself and being like okay this is a waste of money or wow well, i uh, was way off this is this is definitely the stuff and i was totally wrong about these v8s so let me know in the comment section as well Pro i'm not promising anything but it's a thought that's been running through my head once i saw that number 1600 rpm it's at its peak torque that is phenomenal for a v8 all right boys that's it i'm gonna leave it at that as always may the lord bless you May Almighty find it.